I am a lover, the mind says. And when the mind says that, it forgets that to be a lover, the mind cannot be there. Therefore, when the mind says, I am a lover and I want to be with someone to love, what the mind really means is that I want to be with someone so that I can do and be anything I want and be loved. The mind will always create separation. It cannot act differently. And so when the mind think about I am a lover, but still is thinking about the me, me, me. And therefore, as soon the lover doesn't play accordingly to the me curriculum, to the me agenda, then she or he is, is not a good lover. And so the mind will uh, let go and look for another lover. When the heart says, I am a lover and I want someone to love, the heart is not concerned about me. because the heart doesn't create separation. The heart navigates naturally towards oneness. And so when uh, the heart says, I am a lover and I want a lover, I want someone to love, what the heart means is I want to disappear I want to surrender the mind cannot, even if it says so, it can never do that, because to surrender it means to be in a situation where there is no mind. For as long as the mind is there, we cannot be lovers. The mind, when it says, I want the lovers, it just want to have everything it wants. The mind is not open to change. The mind says, when I find a lover, I get to do anything I want. Because she or he will love me unconditionally. And therefore, I can be anything I want. 
because that's what love is. Someone who just always give me what I want. So I can change my moods all the time. He or she will understand because he or she will love me. He loves me. And so I, can, I get to do anything I want. That's love. If the lover doesn't give me everything I want, well, then it's not. He, he or she doesn't love me. So I'm going to find another lover. Someone that has all I want and can give me all I want. And then I will be happy. The mind, uh, one looks for a lover, is looking for someone that reinforces the mind, that feed the mind. The heart, when looks for a lover, goes in the opposite direction. The heart knows that if I want to be a lover, it has to give up the mind list of expectations because to be a lover is means to again surrender it means to infuse yourself with someone else so it's not anymore about me and what I need. The heart knows that to be a lover requires to face all the fears of the mind. Immediately when the heart comes next to a lover, the mind immediately feels fear. Because the mind knows that if the heart wants to decide to be a lover, there will be no space for the mind. And so the mind comes up strong and start to give signals, sabotaging signals. And you start to uh, look for external reasons. To make sure that the love doesn't truly occur. The mind has to do that if you want to survive. It is just a survival mechanism. The heart, when decide to be a lover, when decide to be with a lover, knows that it's going to be a lot of work. 
Not because loving implies work. That's not the reason. It is because again in the mind will kick and scream at the heart and will do everything is possible to change directions. And so the heart find a lover. It start to surrender to it and the mind start to create problems. But this lover doesn't give me what I want. You see, he doesn't love me, she doesn't love me because I don't get to do anything, everything I want all the time. This is not love. Let's go over there. I think over there is love, the man says, meaning I think that situation is going to get me everything I want. Better than this one. This one scares me because it's so powerful that I would have to give up. No, 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 I cannot do that. That scares me. Please, heart, look how things here they are. This situation is not good. He or she doesn't really love us because by communing with this individual we don't get to do everything we want. Quite the opposite, we get to be in a space where it is not about what we want. It is about what we truly are. It is about giving up our mind-related needs and to fully embrace oneness. The mind cannot allow that to happen. So the mind will find ways to get out of it. The mind is extremely astute and will convince eventually the heart, if the heart is still not strong, it will convince the heart that that situation is wrong. And it will direct the heart towards other situations that are more conveniently aligned with I get to do anything I want I get to do everything I want and um, the mind will uh, attract one lover after the other and every time he comes close to the idea of disappearing 
the mind will uh, sabotage, will get out. And again, we'll find someone else, and then someone else, and some other ones. At a certain point, the heart will have to have a serious talk with the mind. The heart will say to the mind, I love you. You don't have to be so afraid. Just trust me. It's going to be okay. You're not going to I have to completely disappear. You just have to find your right space. Your space is not the space of dominance. Your space is not the space of leadership. You forgot about what is your real space. I'm going to love you and gently balance you to what you are supposed to really be. You are not supposed to take the place of the heart. It will never work. If you take the place of the heart, we will both die. Therefore, I'm going to take over from now on. And I will not allow you to sabotage anymore our chance to be lovers. I'm going to attract a lover and I'm going to deeply surrender to her or to him. And when you feel fear, I will talk to you and I will show you there is nothing to be afraid of. But you will have to position yourself in the right spot. You are not meant to dominate. You are not meant to take charge. You are not equipped to do that. If you take charge, there will be only separation and eventually self-destruction. The heart, the heart is the one that is in charge. You still have a very important role Because when you will fully be in harmony, you will wonderfully operate so that the physical experience can function properly. But you will not have the power to drive. decide where, which direction to go. Your power is the power of 
the engine, not the power of the driver. Therefore, my wonderful mind, I am here to tell you that I love you. And I'm here to tell you that you will always be, but you have to go back to where you belong. And when will you do that? Everything will work perfectly. <laughs>